name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault, Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all of the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Kyrie eleison. Christe eleison. Kyrie eleison. Let us pray. As we venerate the glorious memory of the Most Holy Virgin Mary, grant, we pray, O Lord, through her intercession, that we too may merit to receive from the fullness of your grace through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Galatians. Brothers and sisters, Scripture can find all things under the power of sin and through faith in Jesus Christ. And through the faith in Jesus Christ, the promise might be given to those who believe. Before faith came, we were held in custody under, under the law confined for the faith that was to be revealed. Consequently, the law was our disciplinarian for Christ, that we might be justified by faith. But now that faith has come, we are no longer under a disciplinarian. For through faith, you are all children of God in Christ Jesus. For all of you were baptized into Christ, have clothed yourselves with Christ. There is neither Jew nor Greek. There is neither slave nor free person. There is not male and female, for you are all one in Christ Jesus. And if you belong to Christ, then you are Abraham's descendants, heirs according to the promise. The word of the Lord. The Lord remembers his covenant forever. The Lord remembers his covenant forever. Sing to him, sing him his praise. Proclaim all his wonder, wondrous deeds. Glory in his holy name. Rejoice, O hearts that seek the Lord. The Lord remembers his covenant forever. Look to the Lord in his strength. Seek to serve him constantly. Recall the wondrous deeds that he has wrought, his portents and his judgments he has uttered. The Lord remembers his covenant forever. You descendants of Abraham, his servants, sons of Jacob, his chosen ones, he, the Lord, is our God. Throughout the earth his judgments prevail. The Lord
The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. While Jesus was speaking, a woman from the crowd called out and said to him, Blessed is the womb that carried you and the breasts at which you nursed. He replied, Rather, blessed are those who hear the word of God and observe it. The Gospel of the Lord. Evangelica Dicta de One of the mistakes that we can make is to read the scripture from the perspective that is inherently ours, which is post-Protestant revolution. And therefore, we hear this conversation that St. Paul is having with the Galatians, and we interpret it through the lens of sola scriptura versus not sola scriptura, and we say, I don't know what's going on. He, like He's saying, and, but St. Paul is not addressing the heretical ideas of Martin Luther, John Calvin, and the rest. We have to remember who is Saint, he's addressing. It's to the Galatians. And what was the situation there in Galatia? It was not Protestant revolution. Their question that he, and we've, we've been working on this all week, we kind of know, they're wondering, how Jewish do we need to be to be Christians? And he is saying, we especially heard it, remember, uh, yesterday, that even if you attempt to live the law, he said yesterday, you're not doing it good enough, are you? You're still even trying to be a good Jew. You're not a good enough Jew. He said, all of us, all of us. And he's, remember, he said, I out-Jewed all the Jews. He said, all of us have sinned. We've broken the law and we need God's mercy. And he's saying, we have found it. We have found that mercy in the life of Christ. His life, his death, and now the faith that we have in him changes our understanding of what all of salvation history has meant because it's been meaning and leading and pointing to Christ. And we have to understand him as the interpretive key by which we understand now the Old Testament. Now, this is not something crazy. This is something the Jewish people would have understood. Remember that we can go back to the time of Moses and to the time of the Jewish people after Moses as they continue to the time of King David and we can to the time of King Solomon and the Jewish scholars asked themselves why are we offering these sacrifices in the temple do the blood does the does this blood which we are offering does it bring about forgiveness of our sins? And they recognized that the answer was yes and no. They said, is it the blood of this cow, the blood of this ram, the blood of this goat, the blood of this turtle dove? No. But do our sacrifices bring about forgiveness of sins? They said yes. Why? Because they all pointed backwards to Abraham. They pointed backwards to the sacrifice of Abraham. And remember that sacrifice of Abraham. When Abraham took his son and they went on that march to Mount Moriah and he offered the sacrifice of his son up until the point where he actually had to kill him. We remember God spared his son. But they said that willing sacrifice empowered all of their future sacrifices. This promise that St. Paul now brings about, speaks of here in his letter to the Galatians, he's saying, if you belong to Christ, then you are Abraham's descendants, 
heirs according to that promise. And what was the promise made to Abraham in fulfillment of his sacrifice of his son? I will give you the land. I will make of you a great nation. I will make all the peoples blessed through you, in you. This is the covenant which then we, rec- we, re- we remind ourselves that the Lord remembers this covenant forever. St. Paul says we have in Christ become descendants of Abraham. In Christ, he says, we have been clothed with Christ. When did that take place? Hopefully everyone's thinking, in our baptism, which we're preparing to have a baptism after Mass today. Beautiful uh, little baby boy is going to be baptized. Yay. Clothed with Christ. Brought into that covenant. You can think, what has fulfilled the covenant of Abraham? The covenant which our Lord Jesus established in his blood on the night before he died. Take this, all of you, and drink of it. For this is the blood of the new and eternal covenant. That new and eternal covenant. We could consider that covenant which God had established with Adam and Eve in the garden. That covenant which God had established with Moses. That covenant which God had established with Abraham, with King David. The covenant now that Jesus Christ establishes once and for all, which you and I enter into through Christ, which makes us heirs to all that God has done. This is the context we must read this scripture in. This is what our Lord is speaking of when in the gospel today he says, rather blessed are those not simply who are born of the right woman. Because to be Jew, you had to be born of a Jewish woman, right? Rather blessed are those who hear this word of God and observe it. Who have heard the word of God. Repent and be baptized and observe it who have heard the word of God, enter into the covenant and observe it, who have heard the word of God, that God desires us to walk with him in obedience. We could consider that beautiful prophecy of Micah, which our own bishop has taken as his Episcopal motto. What does our Lord desire? Mercy, obedience, And that we would walk humbly with our God. Let us in this Mass remind ourselves of the covenant of our Lord. Let us remind ourselves of the context of Christ speaking to sinful hearts. He knows you and me. And he desires that mercy. And he asks us now, walk with me. Walk with him towards Calvary. Walk with him from this Mass as we go out Go forth, the Mass is ended, bringing Christ out into the world. Walk with me. Blessed are those who hear the word of God and observe it. This morning our Mass is offered for the, for the repose of the soul of Rosario Butteroth. Benedictus est Domine Deus Universi, quae de Gilagitate, Chippemus Panum Hum Tibia Ferdinus, Fructus Tere, Dobitis Manum Hum Nomex, Cunobis Vita Panis Vitae. Benedictus Deus in Seculum. Benedictus est donis de universi, quia de tula agitate, chipmus vinum quotibia ferdimus, fructus vitis et opitis monum homnum ex cunobis vita fortus spiritualis. Benedictus Deus in saecula. 
in spiritu humilitatis in animo contrito suscipiam et te domine et sicti et sacrificium nostrum et conspectu tua hodea placia et tibi domine deus. Amen. 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 Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Father Almighty. We offer you the sacrifice of praise, O Lord, as we rejoice in commemorating the mother of your Son. Grant, we pray, that through this holy exchange we may advance towards eternal redemption. Through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation to praise your mighty deeds in the exaltation of all the saints. And especially as we celebrate the memory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, to proclaim your kindness as we echo her thankful hymn of praise. For truly, even to earth's ends, you have done great things and extended your abundant mercy from age to age. When you looked on the loneliness of your handmaid, you gave us, through her, the author of our salvation, your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Through him, the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. To you, therefore, most merciful Father, we make humble prayer and petition through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, that you accept and bless these gifts, these offerings, these holy and unblemished sacrifices which we offer you firstly for your holy Catholic Church. Be pleased to grant her peace, to guard, unite, and govern her throughout the whole world, together with your servant Francis, our Pope, and Michael, our Bishop, and all those who, holding to the truth, hand on the Catholic and apostolic faith. Remember, Lord, your servants. And all gather... <coughs> and all gathered here, whose faith and devotion are known to you. For them we offer you this sacrifice of praise, or they offered for themselves and all who are dear to them, for the redemption of their souls in hope of health and well-being, and paying their homage to you, the eternal God, living and true. In communion with those whose memory we venerate, especially the glorious ever-Virgin Mary, Mother of our God and Lord Jesus Christ, and blessed Joseph, her spouse, your blessed apostles and martyrs, Peter and Paul, Andrew, James, John, Thomas, James, Philip, Bartholomew, Matthew, Simon, and Jude, Linus, Cletus, Clement, Sixtus, Cornelius, Cyprian, Lawrence, Chrysogonus, John, and Paul, Cosmas, and Damian, and all your saints, we ask that through their merits and prayers in all things we may be defended by your protecting help. Through Christ our Lord, amen. Therefore, Lord, we pray graciously accept this oblation of our service, that of your whole family. Order our days in your peace and command that we be delivered from eternal damnation and counted among the flock of those you have chosen. Be pleased, O God, we pray, to bless, acknowledge, and approve this offering in every respect. Make it spiritual and acceptable so that it may become for us the body and blood of your most beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. On the day before he was to suffer, he took bread in his holy and venerable hands, and with eyes raised to heaven, to you, O God, his almighty Father, giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you.
a similar way, when supper was ended, he took this precious chalice in his holy and venerable hands. And once more giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the blessed passion, the resurrection from the dead, and the glorious ascension into heaven of Christ, your Son, our Lord, we, your servants, and your holy people, offer to your glorious majesty from the gifts that you have given us this pure victim this holy victim, this spotless victim, the holy bread of eternal life and the chalice of everlasting salvation. Be pleased to look upon these offerings with a serene and kindly countenance and to accept them, as once you were pleased to accept the gifts of your servant Abel the just, the sacrifice of Abraham our father in faith, and the offering of your high priest Melchizedek, a holy sacrifice, a spotless victim. In humble prayer we ask you, Almighty God, Command that these gifts be borne by the hands of your holy angel to your altar on high in the sight of your divine majesty so that all of us who through this participation at the altar receive the most holy body and blood of your son may be filled with every grace and heavenly blessing. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Remember us, O Lord, your servants who have gone before us with the sign of faith and rest in the sleep of peace. Grant them, O Lord, we pray in all who sleep in Christ, a place of refreshment, light, and peace. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. To us also, your servants, who, though sinners, hope in your abundant mercies, graciously grant some share in fellowship with your holy apostles and martyrs, with John the Baptist, Stephen, Matthias, Barnabas, Ignatius, Alexander, Marcellinus, Peter, Felicity, Perpetua, Agatha, Lucy, Agnes, Cecilia, Anastasia, and all your saints, Admit us, we beseech you, into their company, not weighing our merits, but granting us your pardon through Christ our Lord, through whom you continue to make all these good things, O Lord. You sanctify them, fill them with life, bless them, and bestow them upon us. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Pater Noster, qui es in celis, sanctificetum nomen tuum, advenia tu regnum tuum, fiat unitas tua, sicut in celo et in terra. Panem nostrum quotidianum da nobis hodie, et dimiti nobis debita nostra, sicut et nos dimitimus debitoribus nostris, et ne nos educas in tentationem, sed libera nos amal. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, and now and Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace, I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, have mercy on us. 
Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the body of the world. Jesus Christ, my Lord, and Savior, 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 Liber me per tox sacus amor, 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 tox Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. In the name of Thomas and Vigus, but in your subtext of man, said Tantum Dick Vergo, it's an abitur anima man.
Let us pray. Renewed with this heavenly food, we humbly implore you, Lord, that having received your Son, born of the tender virgin, under sacramental signs, we may profess him in words and hold fast to him in deeds, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Saint Michael, the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God have you.